Good morning, movers. Welcome back to New Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. So this beginner workout is gonna be a total body workout today, but no equipment required. I'm also going to finish off the workout with a DNS stretch flow. So that's gonna be great. It's a great way to get back to the roots, sort of what our bodies were able to do when they were babies, and I think it's an important thing to add as a daily movement flow to make sure our ligaments, joints, and muscles are there for us when we need them, especially as we're aging. So no equipment's required. Your format will be the 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between, repeat for three rounds, then move on, never to see it again. Okay, kind of feels like a no repeat and it's fun and fast. Are you ready to move daily? Let's go. high intensity intervals although it's gonna be you know <laughs> maybe not as high intensity we'll do a lot of body weight stuff of course since it's body weight workout um, but some of them will be strength movements some will be cardiovascular so we'll, we'll do a bit of both here all right up and over big stretch Let's do some arm circles. Reach back, tap it out. Reverse directions. Okay, some front and back bends here. Knees are soft, you're just hinging at the waist. Gently pushing hips forward here. one here. All right, now hinge forward and stay here. Knees are bent. Reach up, press the hands to the ceiling, stretch your pecs. Good, and switch. Reach. And switch. Reach. And last one here. Big stretch. those shoulders back. Get them up nice and high by your ears. Switch directions. Let's take a wide squat position here. We're going to reach forward and pull back. Heel digs, heel is up and you're sweeping. Alternate sides. Last one here. And we'll finish off with a little torso turn. Hands on your shoulders and pivot. Here's your first exercise, three rounds. Let's get started. We'll start with a little cardio. All right, jack, jack, kick, kick. This is what we're doing. Get the heart right up. You're here. Two kicks right here. Tap that out. You could also box or shuffle if you don't want the low impact, if you want something a little bit more. Round two, and jack, and kick. And 
tap. Last one. Great, moving into a squat with a roundhouse. We're gonna alternate roundhouse legs, shoulders back, drop it low. You're here, up and over. Squat, switch sides right here. Squat should be a little bit wider than shoulder width so you can drop nice and low. Keep your chest up and back is flat. Round three. into a jack or side tap front punch overhead punch okay we'll get low here we go you're here and up nice and quick of course you could jack this out if you'd like Rapid fire, here we go. Drop it lower. Okay, one more round. Quick sip for me here. Here we go, you're here. Take it down to the ground for a few exercises. So get ready. Going into plank. Okay, take it down. Good, we're gonna hold the plank from the knees and we're gonna walk it up and back. Here we go. So walk up, up, back, back. If you can't walk it or if this hurts your knees because of your mat, just go ahead and hold the plank here, okay? 
that's fine. You could also hit this from the toes if you'd like. Lots of ways to modify, depending on your level. Good. Rest for a second. Scratch your foot. And let's go for round two. Bum is down and walk. Walk back, back. Good shoulder exercise here too. Don't let the back sag. Rest, one more here. Then we're gonna flip it over for another ab. Shake it out. And here we go. need a reprieve. Last round. Let's work. You'll stay down here on your back for the last half. We're going to do a little windshield wiper side to side, okay? Stay with me. Arms are out to the side. We're going to slowly go side to side here. Try not to let the legs hit the ground. So if you're here, slow up. Keep your shoulders on the ground. Up, slow. Very good. Flexors here. Big stretch. There you go. Round two, 90 degree knee and work. Down, up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Good job, everyone. Slow and control. Okay, 
right, one more round, and then we'll stand again. Give yourself more time if you feel dizzy, okay? Ready, knees up, let's work, and slow. to a reverse lunge, knee drive. Same side for 30 seconds. Here we go. And then I'll split the difference on the last one. Knee, good, low, and drop. If you need to hold on to something for balance or a wall, feel free to do that. Or if you just want to add this kick instead, you can do that. Oops, I said high knee, didn't I? <laughs> knee or kick. Your choice. One more here. Up. Shake it out. All right, switching legs. Full 30 on this side now. Drop it low. now and we'll split the difference shoulders back drop your gear last one here and switch your side Going into some rapid fire knee drives. Again, 30 on each side, then we'll split the difference on the last. Drive it here and here. Nice flat back. Don't round your shoulders. That leg burns, just shake it out for a second. It might. This is an iso hold. Makes that leg feel like fire for a bit. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Switching sides. Gets the heart rate up. That's good. That's what we want. Drop it low and drive right here.
to into a plie pulse, bicep raise or bicep serve or tap on the shoulders. Here we go, low and open, low and open, good. This is called shoulder tap, just shoulder tap Tracy. <laughs> I was trying to think, how can I use my biceps? It's here, flex, low, flex, good. There's a lot of legs as well. You could always just do this action here. Okay, if the squat hurts your knees, round two, drop it low and low. Open, open, good. Last exercise, then we're moving into that DNS flow. We're gonna forward for four, elbow to knee, and back for four. Let's work. One, two, three, four, and back. If you feel more confident standing in place, then do that.
Do it well, everyone. You've got 10 more seconds. Stay in the pocket. Almost there. Last three, two, one and done. You've moved daily in your no equipment total body workout. Join me for that DNS stretching on the ground. Coming up. This is better done without your shoes on, so go ahead and remove those, okay? Socks included if you can, if you're in a place where you can do that. You have better grip and just a better sense of where your body's going in relation to the floor. Starting down on the ground, we're gonna just start with head lifts. Everything's gonna be done for five reps. Follow along. All right, chin is down. Lift for one and low. Two, good. One more here and up. We're gonna push up to our hands right here and down here. And two, good. three, one more here and five, all the way down, good. Up to all fours, rock it back and forward. Back and two and three. One more here. Five. Staying up on all fours, you're gonna lift your right hand, lift your left hand, lift your right foot, and lift your left foot. That's one. Right hand, left hand. Right foot, left foot, that's two. And hand, hand, foot, foot, that's three. And hand, hand, foot, foot, that's four. Last one here. Up. Good. We're going to sit in that 90-90 position right here. Hand is out to the side. We're going down to the elbow. Take it down and one. Low. Two. Three. Four. And five. Switch your side. Here we go. Elbow here. And one. Two. And five, hand behind your head, elbow to knee, twist it, one. And two. And three, four. Last one here, and five. Other side, hand behind your head, elbow to knee. Open, and two. Three. Four, five, good. Back to kneeling. We're gonna go and sit on one side here. We're gonna sit right here, and then back up to kneeling. Switch sides and sit. Two, down and sit. Three, we're gonna go for five each side here. All right, you're halfway, five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one here. Five. And good. Back in that 90, 90 position on the legs. Front legs at 90, back leg. You're gonna go down to the ground and up, sit. That's one, low, and two. This one's harder, down, three. It should be actions we should be able to do though. Four, unless we've had an injury where time has prevented us. So that's five, switch sides. Something to practice, hold your hand here if you need the help, okay? One, and two, 
Four, one more here. And five. Come into that infant position here on the side. We're gonna open door, hands together, and you open, open, extend. Knees stay here though. That's one. And close. Open. And two. Open. Three. Four. One more here. All right. Legs go to the other side. Open door here. Close and open. Close and two. Four, one more here, and five. Into dead bug right here. So you're on your back. Knees are at 90, hands are straight ahead. We're taking right arm back, left arm back, right foot down, left foot down, that's one. Go arm, arm, foot, and foot, that's two, arm, arm, foot, and foot, that's three, arm, arm, foot, foot, last one here, arm, arm, foot, and foot. Now we're going to open and close the door in dead bug. So you slowly come to this side, up to center, other side here. Boom, that's one. Up, down, up, that's two. Up, down, up, that's three. Up, down, up, that's four. Last one here, up down, up, and down. That's five. Let's have you on your back in that baby pose. Go ahead and grab your feet. Draw your knees to the ground. Stretch that out in the groin here. Do you have the flexibility? Is this hard? How far down can you get? Just hold that there for four, three, two, and one. Roll to the side. And we're sitting up. Let's go into this bear position or birthing position. You're gonna be here, leaning back. We're gonna twist and center, twist and center. That's one. Leaning back using our core and abs. And two. And three. Four, last one here. Up. and five. Okay, here's our last sequence. This one might be a little bit challenging. You can watch if you need to and then add it as you can or if you have the flexibility, join me here. You're starting in plank position. We're gonna walk it back, back, back. You get into this low squat. We're gonna reach with our right, reach with our left, reach up with both and stand. That's one. Walk it out to plank. Walk it back to squat. Reach up with our right. Up with our left. Up with both. Up and stand. That's two. Three more here. Plank. Squat. Reach. Reach. Double reach here. And stand. That's three, walk it out, and back, reach, reach, double reach here, and stand. Last one here, walk it out, walk it back, and squat, reach, reach, double reach here, and push through the heels. There you go, folks. Great little flow, great to add that in. After workout, daily in the morning when you first wake up, 
get the body moving, get the body flowing, and come back to some of those really important foundational movements that can help us keep those movements as we age up into our 80s, 90s, and 100s. All right, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. If you're looking for a workout for tomorrow, click or tap right here or there, and I'll see you in the next workout. Thank you.